Welcome back everyone. I hope you guys are all staying healthy and safe. As you guys can see, the RSI Smart Cat is gone. But before I go on, can we just take a minute to appreciate how good the truck looks? Now I've had a cap on this thing for I feel like over a year now and just completely forgot how good it looks without the cap. Flat tire and all. But as I mentioned, I am going to be pouring the truck out and I am actually on my way right now to the dealership to pick up a new car or truck. Also, the Tacoma does have a recall for the third brake light. As you guys know, the roof will leak on these bad boys. There's a recall available, which they haven't been able to do for me because of the smart cap. That thing is gone now. I've sold it. Even though I'll be parting out the truck and taking it back to stock, I am not going to be getting rid of it. I just feel like it's time for a change for it and do maybe a version two or three. Even though I'm picking up a new car or truck, which you guys will see here in a few minutes, I'm not quite ready to let go of the Tacoma. One of the things with me, with my previous cars and trucks, I always go through like different variations of modifying it. I guess it's more of a addiction and I feel like it's one of the big benefits of being able to modify your cars and trucks is you don't have to get a new one. You can just, you know, change your wheels, tires, your whole setup and you have a pretty much a new truck. So that's what we're going to be doing with this. I know you guys don't care to look at my face. Let's hop into Tacoma. Let's go to a dealership and let's go pick up our new vehicle. As we're driving to the dealership, I do want to give you guys a quick backstory of some of the trucks and cars I've had. Right before Tacoma, I did have a GTI. Love that thing, you know, and that car also went through a couple of different variations as far as like wheels, tires, suspension setups, you know, performance. Now, before the GTI, I used to have a F-150 EcoBoost. That was by far one of my favorite vehicles I've ever had. You know, I was able to tow with it. You know, it took me anywhere I wanted. It was roomy. So once I was ready to get rid of the GTI, I ended up getting the Tacoma, you know, hoping I could get some of that F-150 essence out of it, which don't get me wrong. This truck is extremely, you know, versatile. Take it anywhere. You know, I love it, love the way it looks, love the performance and everything. However, it's not very roomy. Now, with that being said, I have been looking at, you know, F-150s and other trucks and just really couldn't get myself to pull the trigger, especially with the prices on all of them. Back in, I want to say it was February or March of 2021. And for reference, today is January 6th. So back, you know, almost a year ago, I pre-ordered this vehicle. And, you know, hoping to be like one of the first ones in Utah. Unfortunately, I wasn't. I was actually number three or four on the list for the dealership where I'm at. And it actually came in about a week ago, but I've just been too busy to come and pick it up. And to give you guys a sneak peek, it's been sitting here for about a week now, ready for the pickup. So I'm super pumped. I'm gonna drop, drop the Tacoma off to get service, to get the recalls done. There's a few other things I need the dealership to fix. Um, it needs a new battery, I don't wanna deal with it. And just some other little things here and there. So let's drop the Tacoma off and let's go pick up the new 2022 Tundra. Here she is, 2020 limited TRD off-road package. Whew. There's our registration. Whew, look at that interior. Mm -mm. All right, enough talking, I haven't even driven this thing yet, so let's hop in, take her home. <laughs> 